Well, 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 here we are, everybody. We are now in the Love Yourself Highlights. Yes, that is correct. The Love Yourself Era. I'm expecting that this is where things start to kind of tie in. I think this is where we start melding everything together. I feel like this is kind of where in storytelling, probably at least where they start sowing in those seeds. Anyway, let's check this out. Yep. <laughs> Interesting fact before we start this. I think that, uh, I shouldn't say fact, just, uh, this is probably one of the most unique things that I've ever seen. <laughs> Good on them for making this kind of so deep and unique. I like that. A lot of, uh, but I have to say, the visuals behind this has been truly astounding. Really cool. Anyway, let's check it out, shall we? her diary no <laughs> <laughs> oh, denied. Ah, yeah. Oh, big man. Mm. 
Okay, wow. Very heavy. Sonagi got the baby Surika. And soon come on the top. Captax and Uncle Sukiso. Tanum. Sesang Yarman Adam Dowdy. Get an. 네가 있다는 것만으로 모든 것이 달라져 있다. 이 순간들이 거짓이라고 해도 여기 머물고 싶다. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Wake up. Catching him for Kazungane. Print to the watching. Huh, to recure woman than I quit. 눈앞에 펼쳐진 빛나는 세계 그 밑바닥에 나의 거짓이 있다는 것을 이 모든 것이 작은 바람 하나에도 무너질 꿈이었다는 것을 나는 외면하고 회피하고 눈을 감았다 두려웠다 나 자신으로는 사랑받을 자신이 음. 없었다 
Is this how key dramas are? If so, I might need to start getting into them. <laughs> oh, don't tell me she died. making me kind of emotional. Is this how it's supposed to go? Is this? Well, let's check it out. If it's just one long highlight, then cool. Maybe I'll glean some extra information that I missed. Hmm <laughs> hmm. So, if I remember correctly, this is the date. This is the start date, right? Pretty sure. I'm starting to think that that whole time travel thing is probably true. <laughs> are the actresses that they use in this, are they uh, fairly um, popular or well known? <laughs> My, yeah, yes, indeed. <laughs> he gets so fast. Thank you. 
I always hate when that happens. You're like, man, why do I keep dropping stuff? Is this the same bridge that's in the music video? Is it Run? I wonder if that is. Kind of feels like it. Kind of looks like it. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Nah, uh, uh. I guess now the question that I have is, if he paid for it, why would she be mad? <laughs> Busted. <laughs> the underhand gather here. I love it. That's brutal. Ugh. It kind of goes along with like, life is beautiful, but you know, obviously there's a good and bad. The interesting thing, I feel like the, the whole first half doesn't really feel like it's very connected or really gives you much information in some senses, but the ending, kind of when we get to the back half of this, that's when it gets a little bit more telling. Very telling indeed. Over the train. You'd get in a lot of trouble if you did that in my neck of the woods. good like that. I like his hair. Nice and fluffy. The 
There's something there that Jim and the singer. Yeah. Very, very sneaky. Yes, indeed. Because you don't want it to end. When it ends, that means change is coming. Are you scared of change? We so This is where I feel like I'm missing something. I'm fine on there too, interestingly enough. Isn't it interesting that all the lights are yellow? <laughs> Came out of nowhere.
수없이 많은 계절을 반복해도 다다르지 못하는 곳이 있다. 결국 마주해야 하는 것은 어제와는 다른 폭풍. 그 가운데를 뚫고 나아가는 것. 두려움 없이 사랑하는 것. 망설임과 이별하는 것. 나 자신으로 살아가는 것. 인트레스팅 인트레스팅 흠 오케이 I need a minute to think here I need a minute to think 모든 실수와 잘못을 바로잡고 그래서 행복해질 수 있을까 This is the part that I find so interesting is this last spot Okay, okay, I have some thoughts, I have some thoughts. Okay, let's talk here. I think there is a, an interesting line that runs through this whole thing for me. First and foremost, I think I want to start with Jin. And I think the idea is, is that he... <laughs> I, I think that, you know, luckily enough, I've had someone um, help me out with the notes and stuff like that. Um, my personal thought is, is that the whole time traveling thing <laughs> sounds like it actually exists. So here's the interesting thing. We're going to talk about Jin first and foremost. Jin, to me, um, goes back in time. I think the interesting thing is, is that, to me, this is one of those cases where no matter what you do, you cannot change the past. You cannot change, no matter how many times you go about it, what you, ha what you have to do is learn from what happens, and you cannot change uh, what happens and how, you, you know, how you, things are supposed to be. That's the first thing. For me, I found the interesting thing about Suga um, <laughs> is that for me, the whole thing about Suga is kind of not allowing yourself to feel the emotions, letting yourself feel, letting yourself feel and experience. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Right. I feel like the, the whole thing between him and the storyline that he has is that he probably had some feelings that he didn't know how to work through. And thus, it kind of forced him to not, to basically act irrationally. For me, I think the one thing is, is for uh, JK... His is a little bit more, um, 
His is a little bit more tricky. I feel like that his might be one of the more trickier ones. My personal feeling is is that in a sense him and RM have kind of a similar story. Oh, excuse me. Um that is JK and RM have the story of uh RM is is a uh, I would say do these do what you can when you can and don't let it pass you by. Don't let your experience pass you by. Does that make sense? Pass you. For me, JK in a sense is a similar theme, but it's uh, when you're in the moment, don't lose, you know, take advantage. Experience. Go through it. Does that make sense? Take the chance. To me, next I want to go to Jimin. Uh, for me, I feel like Jimin is, is um, kind of similar to Jin's. Um, I think that we all do stuff that we don't like that we've done. The regret part. And I think that uh, a lot of times we dwell on that. I think that's the, uh, that's kind of the feeling that I get and not knowing how to move on. That's, that's what I got from Jimin. That's, that's personally what I feel. Um, next, I think the interesting thing is probably moving on to Tay. Okay. Now, when it comes to Tay, I think that his storyline is a little more main, like, streamlined in a lot of senses. And Tay is... There's no way of getting out of difficulty, right? I feel like that, you know, bad things happen, um, such as death. Or maybe, you know, maybe some financial troubles. Um, the interesting thing about this one, I did not take notes throughout. I felt like that I wanted to absorb it and kind of allow my mind to think a little bit more freely. Uh, but for me, I feel like for Tay, his story is... is Kind of, like, accepting when bad things happen. It's going to happen regardless. There's a story that I remember hearing uh, a while ago where um, these animals all see a storm coming. And I don't remember exactly which animals, but, uh, like, let's say a gazelle. Gazelle see the storm coming. The, stor the gazelles run away from the storm. Um, next, you see... Uh, maybe like, you know, a buffalo sees the storm coming and they try to run to the side of the storm to get around it. And then, say, an elephant sees the storm coming and decides to run straight through it. And in doing so, the elephant, by doing so, is the one who spends the least amount of time in the storm because they're going through it. So I thought that that was kind of interesting. Um... Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Tay's story. So then the last thing that I want to talk about is actually J-Hope. I think he is the one who... is the one who... nailed it all, in a sense. He's the one who was able to enjoy the relationship. He was the one who was able to enjoy the friendship. He was the one who was able to take advantage when the opportunities brought it up to him. That was actually my first thought, you know. And I think that, like, the biggest thing about... Uh, like R for RM for Nam June, he, he felt like that he waited too long and the the experience passed him by. And I think for me, J Hope's story is is that he takes advantage and he does see that. And the interesting thing is is that with the fact that Jimin is there with him in that dance scene, 
my first thought was he was the bridge, the gap to help um, Jim and forgive and maybe even forgive himself. Like, I think that that's what the bridge is there. Um, so I think the interesting thing is looking at all this, <laughs> There's kind of a through line of, obviously, this is called Love Yourself. So, (laughs) this is one of those things where it feels like it's the tough lesson to learn, right? You cannot change things in the past. Uh, You you have to be able to express yourself in a healthy way. And, you know, maybe that takes some time. Maybe that takes therapy. Uh, When you're there, take your opportunities. Don't let it pass you by. Don't let the experience of regret change you in not moving forward. Um, everything Bad things happen. Death and finances and things ending. Life and friends moving away or moving in different directions. Um, learning how to forgive. Learn... <laughs> What am I doing for this? This is wild. I can't believe this is actually K-pop stuff. Uh, Learning how to forgive. Learning how to love. Learning how to um, accept. Learning to... (laughs) Learning to take that time for yourself. And then I think the other thing is, too, is learning to observe the situation, to know when you actually can take that advantage. You know, I feel like that whenever I say something like, oh, I'll take advantage of the situation, you know, I, sometimes I feel like that that can be, have like a negative connotation. But, you know, when there is a good opportunity, you have to take it. And I feel like that that's the next thing that kind of wraps this all together. Um... So, the problem is, <laughs> I, I have so many freaking notes here. I think I'm on, like, page 10 for this. Um, for me, I think that means, when you look at all this, is that it is whether you have, you're in yourself, lacking um, the perception. To be able to see. when the good times are there. You know, there's a, uh, there's a quote from the, uh, from the office, actually, funny enough, uh, that says, I wish that I could know when I was in the good times when I'm already in there and not when they're done, or something like that. And that is the perception. And honestly, I think that's somebody, something that everybody struggles with. When are you going to know is the good times? When are you going to know is the bad times? And what do you need to know to learn from those experiences to make yourself into a better person? <laughs> Feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> anyway, let me know what y'all think. We'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you, and goodbye.